Why the decline, Hugh? Well, first of all, just to clarify, hedgehogs aren't going to be extinct in that sort of length of time. That, those sort of figures are complete nonsense. But that shouldn't say that the prop, there isn't a serious problem. The hedgehog population in this country has declined in urban areas by uh, around a third since the turn of the century, in rural areas by over a half. So these are very serious. But, but to um, put on, on you know, fictitious figures like that will just uh, discredit the really sound science which goes behind the conservation work of the people who I work with, the British Hedgehog Preservation society mm -hmm. and the people's trust for endangered species so the problem so not is going to not going to be extinct but still a very concerning situation it's very much so, so very why, why is that the case what, what is what is stopping hedgehogs from thriving in our country like they used to well, we've got a series of different problems facing the hedgehog, uh, but principally it's an issue to do with a lack of food and a lack of connectivity within the landscape, all, all coupled with obviously a loss of habitat. In the rural situations, you have thinner and fewer hedge hedges, which obviously, I mean, hedgehogs aren't called that on a whim, you know, they hog the hedges. <laughs> um, you have got a, an environment which is, is devoid of food. You have an industrial agricultural system which removes a lot of the macroinvertebrate food, the worms and the other bugs that hedgehogs like to eat. And also they're in competition and occasional predation with badgers. So they have a very difficult life in the countryside. And in suburbia, they have got potentially a fantastic home. But we have tended towards tidier, neater gardens. We've tended towards gardens which are smaller. We've tended towards gardens which are isolated and cut off. So leave it overgrown if you want the hedgehog to live there. If you want to have more hedgehogs, do a bit less gardening. Okay. And the great thing is we've got a fantastic project called Hedgehog Street, which has been running now for five years. And the idea is simple. You make your garden hedgehog friendly by doing less gardening, having a compost heap, having a log pile, putting a ramp in for your hedgehog, but make a hole in the fence, talk to your neighbour first, make a hole <laughs> in the fence and then get your neighbour to talk to their neighbour. What else can you do? People think that they should put out food, maybe cat food for a hedgehog, is that wise? It's definitely a way of, of helping the hedgehog because one of their th threats they face is a lack of food. Meaty pet food, absolutely fine for hedgehogs. If you go to the Hedgehog Street website, you'll find that there are all sorts of guides about how you can put food out for hedgehogs so you're not attracting cats, rats and foxes. The other thing we've talked about on this programme is the idea of repopulating animals. You know, we've seen with beavers, for example, in the southwest of England. Is that a possibility with with our hedgehogs? It's not something we're looking at yet because there are still plenty of hedgehogs around in some places. But also one of the things you've got to recognise is if we do not understand fully the cause of the decline of hedgehogs, mm. and that cause is still in place, you can repopulate as much as you like, but you're still what we would call feeding a sinkhole. The population would still carry on dwindling. What we really need to do is look at reconnecting our environment, making sure there are holes and fences, making sure there are ways across busy roads, making sure that hedgehogs can get from our gardens into wilder spaces.